Day for a lot of people, Jackie. That's right. We're always talking about great things happening, not only locally here in Des Moines, but in surrounding areas. And we want to especially highlight a big thing happening in Denison, Iowa today. And with us right now is Christian Day with the Donna Reed Foundation. And today is a special day because this would have been Donna Reed's birthday, born on this day in 1921. That is correct. Yeah, and we're actually uh, celebrating with having an open house at the Donna Reed Theater in Denison, Iowa. And a couple weeks ago, we put a call out um, for people to send in birthday cards. Okay. and their memories of Donna Reed. Um, and we've gotten quite a few. Um, you know, the Donna Reed Festival was very important to a lot of people. That was huge. It was huge. Years ago, and everybody that had anything to do with Donna Reed, for those people that might be a little younger, Mary from It's a Wonderful Life, okay, or the Donna Reed Show. Right. Donna Reed okay. Show, yeah. yeah. And that's, that's who we're talking about here. It's from here in Iowa, and uh, how did the cards go? Oh, really well. In fact, I would like to share a few of them. Let's do sure. it. Um, I'm going to start off with a, a famous one, and I'm not going to read the whole card, just a segment. Uh, this first one is from uh, Shelley Fabray. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, yeah. Who from, played Donna Reed's daughter in the mm -hmm. show. And went on to do coach and uh, at one time was the president of the Donna Reed Foundation. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to read just this one little paragraph here. It's hard for me to explain to people what playing Donna's daughter has meant to me in my life. From a professional point of view, it was an amazing opportunity, of course, but that pales hugely to what it, it has meant to me personally. Donna was a woman of strength, kindness, compassion, enormous integrity, heart, curiosity, character, and infinite grace. Many words, all absolutely true. But how do they translate to this one particular woman on a day uh, on a day to day basis? I also have one from her son, uh, Tony Owen, um, which is much more personal. Um, but I feel that it brings a lot more. I want to say humanistic qualities to her, okay. not, nece not necessarily as a celebrity. Mm -hmm. um, Mom, we've been asked to share a memory or two. The first is the day we spent together exploring a small portion of Eastern Olympia Peninsula in Washington State with cameras in hand. The day was mostly scattered with clouds and it was warm. We'd stop at various times, take pictures, then continue on. It was a full day from early morning until early evening, spent with you, engaged in an activity and art we, that we both loved. The second memory, which I reflect on from time to time, is the time you took Penny and I to Paris on a Michelin walking tour, visiting various art museums and places of, of artists in the city. On that trip, we were introduced to French bistros and the French style of cooking. There was lots to see and experiences on that trip. So on this special day, may there be others to come forward and share their special memories of you through either your body of work or personally. Happy birthday, Mom. Tony. There you go. Tony, a great guy. He comes back every once in a while to uh, Iowa to mm -hmm. help celebrate with the Donna Reed Foundation. And it was in its prime, and I had, was lucky enough to be there uh, for about 10 years of it. Wow. Absolutely incredible. The money that they've put in to refurbish the theater in Denison, where you guys are still showing movies mm -hmm. uh, on a special Friday night festivals. Can you s talk a little bit yeah, about we, that? Yeah, we do the first Friday film series, which the first Friday of each month um, we show classic films. And when I say classic, And there's 80s. Tony in... Uh, on to yep. the side of Donna Reed there that you're just reading a letter from. Yeah. I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, they do, um, we do classic films. When I say classic, I say it can vary. December, we did National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. That's a classic. <laughs> it is a classic. You don't have to explain that. Uh, yeah. November, we did To Kill a Mockingbird with Gregory Peck. Sure. And we have a local business sponsor, and they kind of throw the party. Uh, Walmart, which you would think, being kind of a conglomerate, wouldn't do a whole lot. They did an ugly sweater for the Christmas party. Uh, <laughs> awesome. For uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Because yeah, so, people probably got them there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, but we also were kind of like this art house theater in western Iowa, where we also show independent films, documentaries as well. Um, we still do the scholarship program. And right now we're preparing for our big centennial celebration of our theater, which turns uh, 100 this year. Wow. This year? Yeah, this year. All right. Well, that's pretty cool. Oh, wait a minute. Where'd they pull that up? Okay. Wow, look at you. I know. Whoa, hubba hubba. <laughs> yeah, back, uh, I, w I was fortunate enough to be a part of the uh, Donna Reed Scholarship. Uh, <laughs> when way was back, this? I'm not going to say the year, but way back in the day, it was an incredible opportunity to meet talented kids from all over the country uh, in its prime. Got to meet some big heavy hitters. Uh, Eddie Foy III, who is Dick Clark's, or was Dick Clark's casting agent for many, many years, uh, and other incredible people. Alan Young, who wow. was part of the um, Mr. Red show. All these people that just loved and adored Donna oh, Reed would come no. back and have workshops and uh, teach us, and as we all kind of hope to follow in Donna Reed's footsteps, because it's always fun when you know a local person mm 
mm. went on to have such huge success, won an Academy Award, um, but still keeping the, the tradition and the memory alive of Donna Reed and everything that she did for the community by once again having a celebration for her today. Exactly. So explain a little bit uh, when, where, and how can people get involved? Okay, uh, well today um, from 5 to 7 um, we are doing the open house. We are actually showing a few episodes of the Donna Reed Show and then at 6 p.m. Paul Peterson, also from the Donna Reed Show, is Skyping in and telling us a few stories oh, about cool. his uh, time with Donna and the Donna Reed Foundation. And uh, we're going to be reading the birthday cards aloud. Um, a lot of people have actually brought them in locally, people who were part of the foundation early on and then also who remember you know, back in the festival's heyday, it was like a summer camp, mm -hmm. and everyone would come to Denison, and they would actually, people who lived in town would house them. People would just stay oh, in people's go. houses. Yeah. So they're all coming over uh, this evening, and we're going to, I'm actually driving there at 3 o'clock, and um, we're just going to have like this, this great birthday party. Now, for those people who have never been to Denison, how long does it take, take to get from Des Moines to Denison? Well, it can be close to two hours, okay. depending on the weather. Um, right. It's a bit of a drive, but, you know, if you can't make it tonight, which I know a lot of people can't, uh, it's a great weekend trip. You know, we have a Donnery Museum up there with all sorts of artifacts, sure. uh, memorabilia. Um, again, you get a tour of the 100-year-old theater, which is great. It is fantastic. I mean, it, it is it's longer than you think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, you know, I, I, everyone should check out Donnery.org if they want to get involved. Um, we are in the process of revamping the Donnery Festival, okay. but for a newer generation. Times have changed. Um, interests are different. So uh, just keep checking us on Facebook at the Donna Reed Foundation for the Performing Arts and also the Donnery.org. Here's an idea. The Donna Reed Festival featuring Jackie Schmeller. Uh, exactly. No, there's been some other scholarship <laughs> winners that have gone on to Broadway and have done some incredible things, so it's fun to, to follow them we there. We do like to reel them uh, back in. After yeah, it's fun, <laughs> it's, it's, it's fun to see where they've gone, but yeah, I would do anything for that festival because it was incredible for me growing up, so mm -hmm. I hope to see future things for it. Well, good luck to you guys. Yep, thank you. Thanks for coming in. It is 7.52. We'll be right back. This is a great day. Thank you.